All right, so this is Office 365 in the cloud on the Surface. We're going to simulate basically how you can use Project Online on the Surface Hub. So here we are, we log in, Office 365 again. We'll go click on Project. We'll go right to the home screen as you can see all the different projects that we have going on right here in the Project Center using the central repository. Again, this is just a good way to interact with everybody. I'm going to create a new project basically showing you how this could be done. I'm going to go ahead simply. There's a lot of different ways to go ahead and do this, but we're just going to go ahead and create a new project. We have an idea. So we're going to call this Omaha Surface Hub Test. And of course, you know, you could do everything that you could do, drag and drop, start date of the project. We can fill out all these fields, but we'll just do this simply over here. We'll click finish. We'll give this a second to go ahead and write to the server. All right, so here, there's everything that you can do on the computer. You could do right here on the Surface Hub. We could take a look at all the PDPs. We can go ahead and dive into there. We could take a look at where we are in the workflow. You see which phase of the workflow that we are, create phase, select phase, plan, manage, etc. Let's go ahead and take a look at the project schedule together. And there we go. Here's the project schedule. You can even actually open up Microsoft Desktop Project and create uh, schedules right off of there on and using the service up. We'll go ahead and let's just sign a resource just to show you that the functionality is really the same on here. We're looking at a product engineer. We want to see who's available in our resource pool. So let's go ahead and build our team. We'll click on product engineer. We'll hit match. And over here, we can facilitate meetings on who's available, who's not available. We can even actually find a resource and talk to them right here in the Surface Hub. And this is all integrated with the Skype for Business. As you can see, we have cameras that are all part of this. We have cameras, speakers. You can actually talk to people that are in your resource pool connected to Office 365 using the Surface Hub. You know, again, just to show you, we can even check the resource capability to see who is who's available, who's not available. So you can see the resource utilization, etc. So here we see our executive overview and Power BI. So we can do things like click here and see the projects that are in the strategic program. You know, and see it dynamically change. We can shift our time scale around. We can click and see which projects a particular person is managing. We can even look at things like how many yellow projects do we have from a project status, or which ones are red, and get that information immediately. If we need more details, we can go over to the Portfolio Details screen, and we get a different breakdown here. So again, I can look and see how much unassigned work is in this particular project, see that we have a problem, and if we do, I can always just click the link here, go directly to PWA, and it'll open up in a different screen for us. So again, it becomes part of your workflow. I'm going to go back here, this full screen again, close this. Now if we had an issue with a particular resource, we can go here and look for over allocations. So for example, if I'm scrolling through here and I see that Peter here has a problem, if I click on Peter, it's going to automatically filter everything so I can see exactly he's on this project. Now if I want to see exactly what Peter's working on, I go to the work, workload by team. I can filter the team member. So in this case, I'm going to scroll down to Peter. And if I select this, you'll see not only what his allocation is by month, but you'll see all the individual tasks that he's working on on those projects. So again, it helps me go from high to low very quickly using the data that we have in project.